this wood for? Oh, uh, Manfred Gertz. I don't know that family. He married uh, Anna Tietzel for the yard. You shouldn't be here all the time. This is dangerous. <sighs> I have to work at Sue. I have to make money for my family. I mean, this, this is my business. Come, come. You can do it. Preparation of the gifts. Prayer over the gifts. Good, good. Preface communion. Antiphon. Prayer after communion. Solemn blessing dismissal. Excellent. Becoming Kelly ministry isn't so easy, huh? I'm no good at tests. You'll be fine. I never see Harris in church. Harris doesn't like the church, Father. You should talk to him. I do. All the time. Persuade him. It is important for a lay minister to be a good example for the community. I'm sure you will know what to say. Harris? Mm -hmm. Harris? What? Father Smut says I'm ready. Good. So am I. Are you coming to the service? I thought I would. Every Sunday? No. Oh, we have to set an example. <sighs> What else did Father Smut say? <clears throat> I stopped taking birth control. It's not right. <laughs> we talked about this. No children. Have to, you know, go on a rhythm method. <laughs> Great. Now I get Father Smuts in bed with me. Hey, you done in there? I gotta change my clothes. I thought you were working. I got a meeting. Could you talk to Elsie? You should build a house for you and Bertha. What for? You'd never leave Elsie's anyway. No, but we can have the trailer whenever we want. Would you listen to me? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Elsie. She's hanging around the saw, talking to herself. She always talks to herself. Yeah, I know, but I can't work with her there. Would you just, like, you know, come and get her, make some excuses, okay? She's your grandmother. Yeah, that's my trailer. I gotta study. Please. Oh. She never listens to me. It's a big order, TV. 5,000 board feet. We can do it. Not without a cat. But that kind of volume. I told you, we got one. I don't see it. It's Norman Sache's. He's renting. No, we bought it. D4350. Deal of the century, 12.5. So where is it? Chair. It's coming this afternoon, guaranteed. Because you can't do this volume without a cat. Mm -hmm. And there was like these flashing lights just sitting there. I heard. Saw them as far up as Port Norman, three nights in a row. UFOs? The colored lights going uh, off and on? Sounds like the same ones I saw in 87. Now they're back. What? It's a uh, grease or something. Coming to Scrabble tonight? I don't think so. How come? 
I gotta do laundry, make them dinner, and fix the damn fridge. Motor's so loud, no one can sleep. I can feed the kids here, and then after I close up, I'll, you know, take them home. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Go on, have some fun. All right, thanks, Jer. No problem. I'm sticking my neck out for you. Hey, you're getting a good price, and we're not gonna let you down. Nathan? How's Albert? What a dink, eh? Your lips are moving, Chowderhead. Doomed her. That's deep, Nathan. Real deep. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> There's danger coming at you. Come on, Deschamps. Is it here? I will. I will. Elsie? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. I, I was just wondering... Where's TV? Oh, he's uh, with Jerry. They just got a big contract for the mill. Lois uh, can't find her Bible study notes. Did you put them somewhere? They're in the cupboard. <laughs> she looked there. Maybe you could come back and give her a hand. You know how she gets. Thanks. Hey, Lois. There's something wrong with Elsie. What? She was talking to herself. She always talks to herself. No, 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 no. This was different. It was like, I don't know, there was someone right there with her. There's nothing wrong with Elsie. Are you so sure? I mean, maybe you should talk to her, find out what's bothering her. She never listens to me. You gotta listen to her. Isn't that what lay ministers do? Your notes were in the cupboard. That's where they always are. I know. Are you coming for Scrabble? TV needs to be careful. Something bad's going to happen. Nothing bad's gonna happen to TV. Listen to me. You should be helping him. Sometimes people have fears about things when nothing is really wrong. It happens to me a lot. But if you ask God for guidance, what are you talking about? He's your son. You should try to help him. Neja Awente. What? Chat's still not here, Chair. What are you talking about? We had a friggin' deal. I got the down payment in my wallet. What's he saying? We, we made commitments here. How much more? Who? What? What? He sold it out from under us. To who? Albert. Thirteen thousand. Jesus. What does he want from us? What? What?
So I hear you bought a cat. Didn't know you needed one. Never know when it might come in handy. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting one for my business. Thought I'd see if you're interested in renting. Not in the rental business. I know it's getting pretty busy at the mill. That's so. Yeah, I may have to hire someone. You know of anyone looking for a job? I was uh, thinking Nathan. Of course, I might sell. How much? Thirteen, thirteen five. Somewhere in there. So? Well, he's gonna sell us the cat, 13 thou, but comes with an attachment. Nathan. Son of a bitch. He's not gonna get the business chair. I'm telling you, it's not. <laughs> it's a painting. <laughs> hey, that's not a word. Baculum. The bone and the, you know what, a certain mammal. <laughs> Is that a baculum in your pants? <laughs> me. How can you tell all the men are away, except for Harrison TV? TV might as well be away. He spends all the time with the woody miser. <laughs> um, 26 double wood score. Of course, Rosie's all's got Jerry. <laughs> it's just being nice. Like at Lois's wedding? <laughs> It's all over. I think for you. <laughs> it's your turn, Lois. <laughs> Earth to Lois, hello. <laughs> Do you think something's wrong with Elsie? Like what? I'm not sure. She's... Harris said, you know, she's talking to herself now. She always talks to herself. Well, Harris says it's not like that. He thinks she ought to see a doctor. But I don't think she should see a doctor. Talk to her, okay? Me? Well, she won't listen to me. Well, what am I supposed to say? If you think she did need to see a doctor, she won't listen to you. Okay. <laughs> Totally whacked out. But she didn't want to miss the station. Where'd that come from? Mine. I had it lying around for years. I used to, uh, used to do a little, uh, stargazing myself. So, did you really see a UFO? Maybe. Uh, I think so. When's Leon coming home? Leon who? Get lonely. Only when I'm awake. Thanks. Come on. Come on, give Jerry his telescope. No, keep it. Uh, I mean, for now. When they come, they usually stick around for a while. Just let me know what you see. Thanks, Jerry. here to work. <laughs> All right. Good one, Nathan. Hey, hey. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Don't touch anything, okay? Albert says I got a job. Yeah, you got a job. Doesn't mean you got to do any work. Jerry will cut you a check each week. Nathan. Look, there's stuff to do if you want. What? 
Well, Jerry does the money stuff. I do machine. Uh, I could teach you. It's going to take some time, and I'm kind of in a rush right now, but... Uh, lumber needs to be stacked. It's not much of a job, but it uh, needs to be done. If you want. See, I just kind of do this so I got enough to haul, eh? I know how to stack lumber, okay? Okay. Stack twice as many if you do it right. Muffins, straight out of the oven. Masicho. Is there anything wrong? Nothing, really. Lots of changes lately, eh? TV's business, Lois getting more involved with the church. I hope she can do it. Lois was never very strong. Oh, she'll be fine. I get anxious sometimes when there's lots of changes. No, you don't. Me too, like when Leon started getting all those jobs in Simpson. I get so lonely. Sometimes I'd start talking to him even when he wasn't there. Ever do that? I do it all the time. Is something wrong with Leon? No, no, he's fine. Me too. Me too. How about you? What about me? You're feeling, um... Lois sent you, didn't she? She thinks I'm crazy, doesn't she? No. There's nothing wrong with me. She should worry about TV, not me. What's wrong with TV? Too fast. <laughs> You're too slow. Yeah, you think you can do better? Go for it. See this? Yeah. This is the turner. And what you want to do is just clench it up like this. to kind of, you know, check on Elsie for me. Oh. I don't think it went so good. What do you expect? Do you think I'm neglecting her? Uh, no, no. You're a good daughter. Remember Bill Etzo's mother? She went from calling bingo to a chronic care home in six months. Lay minister. Wonder what it's like to lay a minister. Your life's gonna be ugly, kid. At least it'll be short. Who were you talking to just now? There was no one else here. You must be crazy. I was praying. Do you go around town saying, my mother's crazy? Is that what lay ministers do? No. Maybe you want to get rid of me. 
I know what you do at TV's trailer. I don't want to get rid of you. I don't need help. TV needs help. Present from Albert. Present from me. Buy yourself a fudge stick. I can't do it. I can't be all I minister. Sure you can. You're not gonna give up after all this work. Look, this thing with Elsie will work it out. Whatever it takes, we'll sort it out. I can't. No, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. I can't face a father's mud. You tell him. You wouldn't believe how this thing cuts. I was working the machine, too. Luke Savard needs 5,000 board feet. Could work on it next week. The job we're doing now is a big one. He'll take the lumber he have now. Deliver it tomorrow. Tell Tanya. them to wait. I can't. Why? Because I'm for the cat. Norman Sache. No, I don't recall, though. Jesus, TV, you said it was Norman Sache. It was Norman Sache. Then Albert scooped it. Then I have to buy it from him. Oh, damn. Jeez, TV. I made a lot of promises for that wood. I borrowed money. My ass is on the line. You gave your word. TV's in trouble. What's wrong? He's working for Albert. That's wrong. He should be working for the band. This is Peter's fault. No, Elsie. He bought some machinery from Albert, but he's not working for him. Last time they came, they took my son, Francis. Francis went away to Winnipeg. Yes. They took him away, and he never came back. Who took him? Sanguatine. Sanguatine? That's who you've been talking to? What are they telling you? There's danger. For TV? I think so. I don't... I don't know what to do. Help me. Okay. Okay. I mean, uh, I tried to talk her out of it, but you know Lois. It's all that Bible study, though. A shame to see it go to waste. I never think of Bible study as a waste. No, I guess you wouldn't. Uh, it's this thing with Elsie. It's got her kind of spooked. Anyway, she would have told you herself, but 
think she's kind of embarrassed. I understand. Not for Savard? TV. I'm gonna do both. We haven't got time. Well? Nice. Nisa's so wound up about these UFOs, she won't sleep. Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm so sick of this. There's gonna be reverse entry somewhere. Especially, it's out the same amount every time. Fifty-nine becomes ninety-five, twenty-one becomes twelve. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how... how often. Take a nap or something. We can do this later. Tell you what, the kids are going over to Michelle's for a sleepover, and I can heat up some leftovers, and we can do the books at my place. You sure? I owe you for babysitting. How long has it been since you had macaroni and cheese? Been at least a day. 6.30? Hmm? Are you in some kind of trouble? Nothing that you can help with. Look, if it's Albert, if it's extortion... I'll see Sandy. Figures. She'll do anything to keep me from working. She's looked out for you all of your life. I got two contracts to do in two days, and I'm not even close. That's the kind of trouble I'm in. And what I need is for everyone to stay the hell out of my business. Why is Nathan working for you? Is that part of the deal? What do you think I'm doing here, bootlegging? Do you want to look around? She's worried because she's scared of this machine. She's scared of everything. I don't think so, TV. Well, then what? What? Nice. Just thought I'd, you know, try it on. Moose meat stew. Mmm. And, uh, fresh bread? Yeah. Don't get a chance to cook much with Leon gone. What's that? Oh, I just uh, thought I'd give the fridge a look. I meant the other hand. Wow. Something for dessert. She told you I was crazy? No. All old people are crazy. We've seen too much. She thinks she has failed you. That's why she doesn't want to be a lay minister anymore. She's so silly, that girl. I'm proud she wants to be a minister. You should tell her. No. She never listens to me. Problem is TV. He's in trouble. What kind of trouble? I don't know. But you know he's in trouble. They told
told me, Sango Tina, the star people. The star people? Who are the star people? Just tighten the bolts and the housing thingy. Should be a little quieter. Thanks, Jer. Finally a decent night's sleep. Wouldn't hurt to modernize a little the uh, 54 DeSoto fridges. Trust me, but it's uh, hard to get out. I'm sorry, Jer. Hey, it's, uh, it's no big deal. It's my fault. No. No way. Jerry, I'm married. Of course. Of course. Uh, look, I, uh, I better go home try to get this out before it sets. Sorry. That wood for Savard? Yeah, just a boat. You'll do as you're told. I'm taking care of it, okay? Like you took care of your brothers? That wood is for Savard. Forgiving heart. People fear this. But I never know what to say. How can I tell people what to do? Humility, piety, compassion, these are not thoughts. Elsie wants you to be a lay minister, you know? She's proud of you. She is? Why doesn't she tell me? And what about Harris? What about him? How will he feel about this? He'll be okay. He's not religious, Father. Maybe. I can't change him. Yes, you can. You can set an example. Let him see the healing power of faith in you. Then the Lord knows what he will do. Set up for two by sixes, eh? You run the cat? You bastard! You don't listen! That's your problem. Who's got it? Who do you think? TV! Thanks to you. Me? I'm getting stronger. You know, it's my face, and it's you too. Guess it's time to go in. Where's TV? We have to wait for TV. What's up, Tanya? My 
wood got up and walked away last night. Too bad. This is near wood. <laughs> This little punk trying to steal my wood? Nah. It's okay, Luke. He's just here to pick up his check. duty to present your new lay minister, Lois Miller. She will guide us in our first prayer. Tell me, what they look like, these star people? Like things around you? Like people you love? Like angels, maybe? I've never seen an angel. Neither have I. But after all these years, I am still waiting. It's a proud day. I bet you're proud. You didn't want it. Don't talk to me as if you know me. Still an angry child. But you have immense responsibilities now. You guys are all the same. Corporation of Christ. Swindling everyone you can get your hands on. What do you know about church? You never come inside. I got my head smacked plenty. <laughs> St. Dominic's, New Brunswick. I saw pompous asses like you spreading God's word, scaring the crap out of poor working people. It's all fraught for you. These people were doing fine till you and your lot showed up with your original sin and your guilt. You're a gang of bullies and hypocrites. And you had the nerve to tell these people how to live. Lois found peace in God. This is what bothers you. You are empty in your own soul. Eight and four. Good. What about Manfred? Give him back his deposit. Hey, 
How come I didn't see you in church? Yeah, like I want to hear your mother tell me how to live. Luke, get his wood. You bet. Appreciate the business. We're practically partners now, you know. Be that smart. Evie! I didn't want to, you know. Yeah, I know you didn't. That's the problem. Your problem. It's no good for you to work for Albert. I know. Bad things follow him. Do you remember when I was little and I had strep throat? We thought we would lose you. When the star people came and stood around my bed, they talked to me for three days that time. Do you remember? Yes. At first, I was afraid. But then you told me they were friends. Yes. You know, they don't always come to take people. Sometimes they come to guide us. Sometimes they come to protect us. <laughs> you told me that, too. You know, they're still watching over me, Ed Sue. So don't you worry. Uh, there's, a, there's something I gotta do. I'll be back later. Albert now, eh? <coughs> How do you like it so far? <coughs> 